In this video, we're going to focus on drawing a more complicated shape. For example, a cross shape, which is a very, very nice challenge. So what we're going to do here now, in here, what I want to do is I want to make a cross shape, and it's basically a line. We will we'll start here in the center, and we're going to make the line up, and then we go down, and then we go to the left side, and then to the right side. And all of this requires a certain uh, coordination with pixels of X and Y coordinates. And this will be a very good practice, because the next video we'll be using this same shape as well so what we're going to do here is the following first of all we're going to just draw the basic items we just ctx and then we're going to say you begin path and this begin path is starting to draw an item so next one is of course the stroke style but we're going to just grab the color you can use any color but i'm going to use this default color here so after that we have a line width and i want to say here 10 pixels so it's easy to spot and now we're going to start the starting position in this case we'll get a position which is maybe about 450 pixels to the right and then uh, from height maybe 300 pixels down so it will be somewhere in the center not very accurate but quite acceptable so we're going to say here ctx that move to and then we're going to grab here, let's see, 450 by 300 pixels. And this is what we call our starting point or equal SP. And I'm going to use this later on because we will have to move consistently to the starting point. So to make this starting point visible, because if we save this and refresh, of course, there's nothing yet. Because we need to do CTX and then we have to say line 2. And then here, for the sake of it, I'll just make it very simple. I'm just going to make sure that we have something. So I'm going to give it a 10 pixel uh, square. So basically 10 by 10. We just add up here 10 by 10. And then we're going to say CTX dot stroke to draw the item. If I save this now and refresh, we have here a shape and I guess we're moving this. We don't need to move that. We can just put it like that. That would be bad. All right. So now this is our starting point here. So what we have to do here, basically it's from 450. So if you want to go up, let's say we want to make sure that this line will be like two lines, one one from top to bottom and one from left to right. But because we're going to start here and we're going to combine them all together, well, which would not always be quite logical to do, but this is a very good exercise. So that's why what I want to do here is I want to go push this up, let's say 150 pixels. And then later on we're going down here as well, 150 pixels down from this starting point here. So what we're going to do here is the following. We want to go up, so I want to stay on the X coordinate. I want to be consistent. I don't want to do anything there. But then here it is. If I want to go up, I need to deduct with 150 pixels. So I need to say here 300 minus 150 pixels is to go up. Yes. So once we do this, save that and then refresh. And there you are. So now we have a line going up. So the next thing what I want to do, I want to go with the line down. Let's go down all to the bottom here, or at least here, 150 pixels from starting point. So to do this, well, this one will be easy because all we need to do here is CTX at line 2. And then we're going to say here 450 because we will not move to the left or right. But we want to go down. We want to go down 150 from the starting point. So that would mean if 300 is our starting point, basically we need to say 300. Oh, I don't want to do this. I just want to copy the 300. Plus... 150 pixels equals 450 is to go down. So what I'm going to do here is then just say 300. Save that. Oh, sorry, not 300, 450. Because 300 by 450, 450. And there you are. So now you can see we went 150 pixels down from the starting point. So that is here, 450. So the next thing what I want to do is I want to go now here. But if I would make a line going directly like this, we will have a diagonal line. We don't want this. We want to go first back to the starting point, and then we go to the left. So to do this, all we have to do here is say ctx.line2, and then we say here our starting point position. Grab this, paste that in there. So back, I'll just put it in here, back to sp, our starting point. And then from our starting point now, we can basically copy this and then just change this. So what I'm going to do here, from our starting point here on the height, we're now always consistent because basically we are here. 
what I want to do now is go to the left side, meaning I need to go in the negative direction. So here we have to say 450 and we want to move now 150 pixels there. We have to deduct 150 pixels. Doing this, save that, refresh, and there you are. Oh, uh, sorry, that is not what I'm saying here. 150, or sorry, 450 minus 150, of course, is 300 pixels. My apologies. There you are. So now, finally, from here, we have to go back to the starting point, but we can even pass through immediately to the ending point here. So for that, what we need to do here next, another line tool, that in here, what we're going to do is we're going to maintain our height, but here this will be what exactly? Well, we are at 300. So from 300, we need to go to starting point, which is 450, and then another 150. So basically, we say 300 plus 300 would indicate here 600. So if I save this, refresh, and there we are. So now we have a very simple cross shape. And what I want to do as a final challenge is to put a, like a tiny dot here or another square separate here and here, here and here. So how will we do this? Because this is a very nice challenge. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to just basically say CTX or what we could do is just simply copy this, put that in there. All right. So now it's the only question, what would be now the position we want to grab here? Remember, if you want to be here on the top, but let's do the top first. We know that this here, going up here, has a certain value, which has probably 300, at least on the uh, position here. Well, let's see here, how can we find that? We can find here our starting point is 450. So this is 450 basically in width. So we need to go 450. So if you could even imagine like this. If this is zero, we're going here to the right, 450 pixels and then I want to go down here and what I want to do is I want to figure out what's this top and I want to be just be 20 pixels on top here and then make it 10 pixel square here so what I'm going to do here now is what is the highest point the highest point on the y value is 150 so this is 150 or that's the the top point so this is 150 here so what I want to do then instead of 150 I want to do 300 no 130 so we're going to move 20 pixels up so what I'm going to say here, that's our starting point for the x value, but this one will be not 150, but 130. And once we did this, what I want to do now is to make a line tool, so ctx.line2, and this will be 450 pixels by 140. What I'm really doing here is add 10 pixel, so make it 10 pixel square. So finally here, I will say ctx.stroke to draw the item. Save this, refresh, and now we have a nice 10 pixel uh, square shape here. All right, so the next thing here is we can do here as well. And you might say, well, why are we doing a line? We could basically do a rectangle. Well, I didn't cover rectangles yet, but yes, we can do it. This is just pure for the exercise. So the next one would be here as well, because this really focuses you on how you can envision coordinates and code into a shape. That's basically what we're doing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this and let's go and work on the right side here. So to do the right side, we need to be basically, we need the starting point here and then we need to go on the X value a certain amount to the right. So first of all, we need to figure out what is the height here. Well, basically how many pixels we need to go down. Starting point indicates already, which would be uh, 300 pixels. So that would mean we will start at 300 pixels on that one, and then here we can probably maintain that, but this will be our question mark here. So if our starting point on the x value is considered 450, as we have here, that's the starting point on x, 450, and then we need to go here, and this was 150 to the right, so that would mean that this would be 600 pixels, which was this one here, 600 pixels was the right item. So plus 20 pixels here, so 620, or we could do even 610, and then we can say here 620. Doing this, save, we will create now our 10 pixel shape here. All right, let's do this one, and then finally the left side. So how do, you, how do we do the bottom? Okay, let's copy all of this, put that in there, 
and just remove all of these values here. So what we need to know here is, again, here the starting point, which is 450 pixels for the x value. Since we're not moving anything of the x value, we're just going down. So that means that we're only going to work on the y value. So we need to figure out what is this lowest point here. The lowest point here is, let's see, we are probably going, if the starting point would be 300 pixels, we went down 100 pixels, 150 pixels from that. So our lowest point here would be 450. So if I do here again 450 by 450, we're not done yet because we need to add up here 20 pixels or we can do here 10 pixels and then here the other remaining 10. So to save that, refresh, there we are. Final one here, let's do that one. Let's copy all of this, put that in there. And then what we need to do here now is we need to have again a starting point for the X value, but then we need to deduct 150 pixels because we need to go back a X amount to the left, 150 pixels. So this 450 minus 150 pixels would indicate here is 300 pixels and then again minus 20, then we can move on. So we can say here, 300 minus 20, so that would be 280. Then here would be 290 for the 10 pixels movement. And then here, since we are basically here on the starting point and we're not moving up or down, we need to know what is the starting point on the x for on the y value. And the starting point was 300. So I'm going to grab here the 300 and put that in there. Save that. And there we are. So now we have created a very nice shape, which I will be using in the next video. And this is also a very good exercise for you. See if you can manage this and you can even challenge yourself to add some other shapes as well or try some other lines as well on here.